The COVID-19 crisis has brought the concept of upward convergence once again at the center of the policy debate. A port convergence means uh, that all the member states improve their economic and social performances while uh, uh, decreasing the inequalities among, among them. For a long time, the European Union was seen as a world uh, convergence machine for its capacity of propelling poorer economies towards uh, best performing countries, both in the economic and in the social dimension. Unfortunately, this stopped to work because with the 2008 crisis shown that uh, uh, the economic and the social dimension of the Union are not two separate entities, but they are interconnected together to uh, foster economic and social uh, convergence in the EU, in 2017, uh, heads of state uh, proclaim the European pillar of social rights. Uh, here at Eurofound, our work aims at contributing at the debate on convergence by uh, monitoring uh, trends and dynamics of upward convergence in the indicators included in the social scoreboard accompanying the European pillar of social rights. All this set of information will allow policymakers to better tailor the political decisions in order to put in place tools and initiatives to prevent uh, divergence in the European Union. Uh, what we see is that uh, uh, member states of the European Union uh, record a poor convergence during good economic times, whereas uh, uh, we have uh, then a downward divergence, so a deterioration of the performance of member states accompanied with an increase of disparities in economic downturn. Uh, so failing to deliver the promise of upward convergence uh, risk to undermine the functioning of the Union as well as to foster uh, political discontent against uh, the European Union project. Uh, so for this reason, upward convergence is uh, important for the stability of the Union. Thank you.